Excel 210 Selection Techniques Selecting a cell Here we have a typical worksheet. If you want to select a cell, say the cell containing the word Canada, you just simply click on it. As you can see, that's now the active cell. It's highlighted up here. It's displayed as B5. If you wanted to move the active cell to, say, uh, Sales 2007, you click on that. So that is now selected. As you can see, the selected cell has a little border around it, um, so it shows you where it is. If you click on the word China, that now becomes the active or selected cell. One more, if you want to say Mexico, you just simply click on it. So that's how you select the active cell. You just simply click on it. Simple as that. Selecting a range of connected or contiguous cells. Let's say you wanted to um, select all the names. So you want to select India all the way down to Mexico. Well, you notice if I click on India and then click on Canada, each time I click, it deselects the one that was selected. So in order to select a, a contiguous range of cells from, say, India down to Mexico, I click on the first one, press the Shift key down, then click on the last one in the range, let go of the Shift key, and then they are there selected. Let's say I wanted to select all of these numbers relating to the USA. Click on the first one, press the Shift key down and hold it down, click on the last one in the range, let go of the Shift key, and there you are, they're selected. One more time, let's say I wanted to select the word Pakistan and all the figures relating to Pakistan. First of all, you click on Pakistan, move the mouse pointer over here, press the Shift key down and hold it down, click at the end of the range, let go of the Shift key, and there they are, they're selected. So that's how you select basically a contiguous range of cells. Selecting a range of non-connecting or non-contiguous cells. Let's say I wanted the word India to be selected and I also wanted the cell containing the uh, words United Kingdom to be selected and I also wanted Mexico. If I click on the first one again, then I go down to United Kingdom. If I press down the control key and then also click on Mexico with the control key still held down, when I release the control key, India, UK and Mexico remain highlighted. Let's say I wanted this number, this number and this number to be highlighted, to be selected. You click on the first one, press down the control key and keep it held down. Click on the next number you want or the next cell, then click on the last one here. And finally you release the control key and as you can see they all remain selected. You can use the same technique here for selecting entire rows if you want to or entire columns I'll see that a little bit later on but basically that's how you select non-contiguous cells. Selecting the entire worksheet. Probably the easiest way is if you move the mouse pointer to this item here which is the intersection of the rows and columns um, information you just simply click here as you can see everything selected. Click outside somewhere and it's deselected. Click back here everything selected. Click someplace else, it's deselected. Insert the keyboard shortcut for this is Control A. So press Control A, it's all selected. Click somewhere else, it's deselected. Control A, it's all selected. And one more time, I go to this item here, which is the intersection of the rows and the columns. There you are, the entire worksheet is selected. Selecting a row within a worksheet. These are the rows down here, so for instance I have a row relating to India and Canada and USA and so forth. If I want to select the entire row, not just the information here, I've just clicked and dragged to do that. If I want to select the entire row, I click here. So you click on these numbers down here. So if I want the row relating to New Zealand, I click on the 9 here. And as you can see, all the way across that whole row has now been selected. If you want to select the row relating to Mexico, I'd click here. There you are, the entire row has been selected. Selecting a range of connecting or contiguous rows. Let's say I wanted to select everything from row uh, 4 
down to row 9. If I click on row 4 here, that selects row 4. If I press the shift key down, I move down to where it says 9 here. See what happens? Everything in between the starting point and the end point here are selected. So if I wanted to select all the rows from, say, New Zealand all the way down to Mexico, I'd click on the 9 here, press the shift key down and hold it down, click on the 12 here that relates to Mexico, release the control key, sorry, the shift key, and uh, they remain selected. So remember the shift key there, it's a nice way of selecting contiguous or connected rows. One more time, we'll do India and Canada. Click on India, press down the shift key, click on the 5 here, which is the Canada line, and there you are, that row is now selected. Selecting a range of non-connected or non-contiguous rows. Let's say I wanted to select the row belonging to Canada and also the row belonging to Mexico, but nothing else. If I click on here, the 5, which is the, the row uh, header, if you like, the row number, and uh, if you want that selected and we want to say Mexico selected, I press down the control key and click here. And as you can see, row 5 and row 12 are now selected. So that's how you select multiple non-joined or non-contiguous rows. So let's try it again. Let's say I wanted every other row starting from India uh, selected. I could click on here. That selects the India row. I press down the control key. Then I'll press here. Then here. Then here. Then here. And when I release the control key, as you can see, all of those selected rows remain selected. So that's selecting non-contiguous rows. Selecting a column. In order to select a column, the easy way, let's say I wanted to select, say, the, uh, the column of information relating to sales in 2003, I just click on the, um, the column header here, it says C, and notice, look at the mouse pointer when I move it up here, you see it change? Normally it looks like that, do it again, see it change? When it changes like that and you click, that will select the entire column for us. Let's say I wanted to uh, deselect that, I just click outside it. If I want to select all the sales relating to, say, uh, 2006, I move the mouse pointer up here, keep your eye on the, on the cursor, changes. It's now in the uh, column header area, which is uh, F in this case. And if I click there, there you are, it's selected. Let's uh, click outside to deselect that. Let's say I wanted this particular column selected, Click up here, it's selected. Simple as that. Selecting a range of connected or contiguous columns. Let's say I wanted the column here, column C, to be selected, and I wanted column D and column E to be selected. If I click up here to select column C, press down the Shift key, and then move over here to the E displays as column header here and click, can you see what happens? It's selected everything in between. Let me show you uh, how we'd select this column by clicking here, and then we'll move over here to the F column, press the Shift key down. Again, everything from the first item to the last item in the range is selected. So if I wanted everything from, say, the B row to the E row selected, I'd click here, to that selects the B row. I press down the Shift key, Click on the letter E here, which is the column header, and there you are, everything between B and E is selected, is highlighted for you. Selecting a range of non-connected or non-contiguous columns. Let's say I wanted to select the column relating to 2003, 2005, and also 2007. If I click here, that selects the column for 2003, if I move up to the E column here, into the header, and press the control key down, that selects the E column. And if I click here, in the G uh, header area here, that selects that column there. So what we've done here is we've selected three non-connected or non-contiguous columns. If we do that again, let's say you want to say the B column selected, and uh, maybe just the, the F and the G columns, I would first of all select row B, uh, column B here. I'd move up to the F column header, press the control key down, move over to the G column header, press the control key down. When I release the control key, as you can see, this column, this column, and this column have all been selected. They're non-contiguous, they're not joined up. 